hey, I'm an appreciation enthusiast, and I wanted to review this album last year, and I wrote this review last year. I just never got around to be able to do it. Uh, I didn't. I just forgot about it, mostly. So, uh, you know what? Let's do it now. Roddy Rich's Please Excuse Me For Being Antisocial from 2019. This album is 16 songs on, 43 minutes. Uh, usual, you know how it goes. My top five favorite songs. Uh, the intro, great way to kick off the album. Really good. Just introduction to this guy and who, because you probably heard the bots by now. So like, here's him trying to entice you into listening to his album now, because you already heard the bots probably. The bots, another favorite song. Uh, everyone loves this song. Great beat. Chorus is very memorable. Even has the coveted eat er that everyone knows. Uh, Bid Stepper reminds me of a 2000s like rap beat, like maybe like a Nelly beat uh, with the guitar. Really good Roddy Rich song. I'm just gonna say that it's really good. Uh, listen to that if you haven't heard that one yet. Uh, Tiptoe with a booty with the hoodie. Uh, you know it's just really good. Uh, they were excellent today. I want to see this pair more often. Honestly, I have no complaints with them at all. The song tra uh, transitions into War Baby, which is probably my favorite song on the album. Uh, it's about life and death. And, you know, growing up where he grew up in Compton. The choir is amazing. I love the, uh, the inclusion of the choir. Brings a tear to my eye every time. Uh, I really want to see him do this maybe next album again. Maybe the finale. That'd be cool to retouch that, that sound and, you know, do it even better this time. The song I would cut is Bat Seat with Ty Dolla Sign. The beat's good, but it's just, I don't like it. If I had to cut it, I would. Not a fan of that one. Uh, let's get to the pros and the cons. Album is starts off strong. The five songs that I recommended are insane. They are some of the best songs I've heard in a while. And, you know, I wrote this back in 2019, and that still remains to this day. I just heard the album again before I did this video. I love those songs a lot. The beats are fun too, and the, tr the transition from Tiptoe to War Baby cannot be beaten. I, when I first heard it, I didn't even realize it was two different songs. That's how good it was. So yeah, check that one out if you guys haven't, those two songs. The cons, it gets a little boring at some parts after the big introduction and the bots. kind of falls off a little bit. That's why I can't recommend this album to the highest extent that I normally would, given the other five songs that are on it. Uh, a lot of the lyrics do sound repetitive. Roddy Rich can only talk about so much, I guess. So that's probably a, something he should work on. I mean, if it, his vocabulary is fine, but it's just the, the delivery sounds all very similar. It's also a pretty long album for 16 songs. You can probably cut this thing down to like 10. Have the five I like and five other ones and cut cut the bat seat song, you're perfectly fine. 10 song album would be great, or even 12. A 16 is just a lot. But uh, overall, this is an above average album. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Uh, it is carried by the five songs that I mentioned earlier. You know, those songs really bring this album to a seven. If they weren't on there, maybe a five. Oh, maybe a six at the most, but that seven is very much earned. Uh, I hope Roddy Rich can evolve from these sounds, you know, do more tiptoes and war babies and the botses. That would be very cool. Yeah, his beat selection is nice. You know, his producers who he's working with are great. Uh, lyrically, he can deliver fine. It's just repetitive, I think. But like I said, seven out of ten. Listen to this one. I highly recommend the five songs. I cannot stress that enough. So check those out. That's my review of Please Excuse Me For Being Antisocial by Roddy Rich. Uh, if you haven't already, you know, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, comment below your favorite Roddy Rich song. It's probably going to be The Bots, but who knows. Or Feature. He has a lot of your features too. Like Rotstar and uh, Ballin. So let me know. Alright. I'm an appreciative enthusiast. And stay safe. And have a nice day.